chuffed with this one. Well done, mate. We get lots of people asking what mainline we use and in this video we're just going to run through what we use and how we adapt our mainline choice to better suit certain aspects of carp fishing. We've been using the Sonic mainline for a little while now and we've been testing it rigorously to see if it actually does what it says on the box. And it certainly does. It's super tough, low diameter, low memory and very abrasion resistant. I'd like to point out that this review is not biased in any way. As you'll see from our previous reviewing videos, we like to be as honest as possible and say things as we see them. So following on from what Luke just said, I'd like to point out that the £15 line and below, you need to ensure you're using a suitable knot when tying onto lead core or some form of leader. This is because Sonic have managed to innovate and make some really low diameter casting line. It just casts amazing, but the only thing you're missing out on is just that extra bit of knot strength so you've just got to make sure you're using the right knots like Luke will go on to talk about in a minute but if you're using the correct knots it will not snap. You should tie a figure of eight loop knot and loop to loop the lead core on. Alternatively you could use an all bright knot I think that's what it's called Lewis will put a picture on the screen anyway. We opt to use the 18 pound variant of the line this is just due to the extra strength it has. Um, it's really low diameter, 0.35, and it casts absolutely wonderfully, and you get the extra strength. To us, it's a no-brainer. So the line comes in three different colours, brown, camo, and green. This gives you a nice variety of colours to choose from. So the line comes in many different strengths, uh, the lowest being 12 pounds, and then there's 15, 18, 22, and 25. So you've got a great variety of line to choose from, different colours, different strengths, line to suit every fishing situation there is, just excellent. Literally fishing about two foot out and there is a common that looks to be about 30 pounds right over the hook bait. It's picking up baits around the hook bait but it's just a little yellow wafter so it looks like the rod could rip off any second. Finally got one fish were cruising over the bait for ages I decided to swap my hook bait to over one of the pink crucial bait pop-ups and yeah it was out there five minutes and there's a really nice mirror came in and bang it's nailed Lewis just rang me telling me I had one in so I reeled in he's here let's see it then mate That is amazing. Well done mate, let's get some photos of that. That is just that is just unreal. That's some proper nice fish. Do you have it from under there or? No, it's just from really close in near these little bags. Oh it, what were we sort of saw them feeding earlier? Look at that fish. Me and Luke came around this little spot earlier and saw a couple of fish right in the edge, literally two foot away from the edge and came around here just with one rod and put a bit of boily flake and sat behind a rod, no alarm and yeah, this is the result. Chuffed with this one. Well done. 